Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I'm deeply grateful to have this honor and blessing to lay eyes on you today. And uh, I think many of us, if not all of us, are thinking a lot about how it is that we would love this coming year to be a beautiful outpicturing of what we know in our heart to be true for us. What we know if we were to be living the highest expression of who we absolutely are, how our lives would be looking right now. And if there's any place that you have a gap in between where you are presently living and presently loving and presently expressing yourself and where you presently are, I think you're going to love this message. And I want you to know I am there too. I've got work to do. There's a space here between my desires, my intentions, and how it can be actualized. And this space is a space of grace, I think, for all of us. So um, let's lean into this space of grace and talk a little bit about intentions and the power that science tells us that goal setting and having a vision for your life truly does work with a couple of key principles that when we attach our goals to them, there's a high likelihood that we'll enjoy the experience of closing the gap on our good intentions. So begin. It's very interesting. A couple of universities in California have done work on goal setting when they get very specific. We write down what it is that we want to have happen, what it is that we have to do in order to help those goals to be realized, and how each and every day there's a time we will actually be working on them. That'll increase the likelihood of those goals being realized by over 90%. So like right there alone, you're like, oh my gosh, 90%, all I have to do is that? Well, that's not easy for a lot of us to be that detailed and that absolute with our non-negotiables to how we're going to structure our days and our lives to move towards the things that we want to achieve in our lives. But that's, that's beautiful. But when we do this with one key element, emotion, and I think that's just like, hey, I, this is my life being well lived. This is my love being beautifully expressed. This is my purpose, being fully realized and actualized. This is me, absolute, sorry, I just like, I have no apologies. This is what our life wants to be about. And that should be very emotionally charged, right? We should be emotionally engaged in that. And when we are emotionally engaged, here's what's beautiful. We increase the centers, the openness in the centers of our brain associated with focus, productivity, resilience, and motivation. And we're going to see a rewiring structurally in our brain based on the amount of emotion we're willing to pour into our goals and the way that we hold a vision for ourselves. In fact, we'll see dopamine levels increase. We're going to see our amygdala, the fear centers of our brain, actually that, that energy around them and the, and the, the energy that's coming from and the direction that's coming from amygdala, literally be down-regulated. But at the same time, our frontal lobe's literally getting more activity. And when that happens, we find more and more emotion directed towards achieving our goal by actually doing what we said we were gonna do. Follow through in that time. Make manifest that day in which we actually practice the principles that will allow us to get closer to the experience of that goal being realized. And along with this is beautiful. When we write down every single day what it is that we intend to create, we do it with detail. There's a 42% greater likelihood that we will realize that goal for that day. 42% by just simply writing it down and then closing the gap on our good intentions. You know, I want you to know that inside of you is alchemy. You are an alchemist, you are a healer, and if you have areas in your life that you would love to curate and cultivate and circulate what you know to be the sacredness that you want to have out pictured in your life, the work begins now. Every day that you get an opportunity to remember how good you are and then demonstrate it through a practice and a ritual is the universe, it's God, it's the light coming through you and in you and as you, living up to the reason why you are here. And the reason why you are here is beautiful, it's purposeful. It's full of love. It's full of light. So please lean into that space and create grace. Almost happy new year. Can't wait for us to get an opportunity to see what 2023 allows us to bring and then fully circulate in us and as us. See you soon. Much love. Every blessing. Bye for now.